blushing, Jared, am I blushing? Hi, you guys, my name is Rebecca Michael. Welcome to Commercial Break. We are live from Los Angeles here. Mike Beatrice is in the chat room with you guys, getting you ready. You guys ready? You guys ready? Chat stars, chat what's stars? up? What's up? It's been like three million years since our last episode, but that's okay, because we're coming out with the big guns blazing tonight, because tonight we have Eric Violet from Canada here with us. Welcome him, Me. welcome him. There he is. Very handsome French Hi. Canadian gentleman, ladies, in the house for you. Eric, America loves you. We just want you to know that. Well, thanks. I love America. <laughs> <laughs> You're very famous. It's very here. flattering. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I noticed it when I went to the United States last summer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because do, do they play your commercials in Canada? No, I, on, if you have satellite, you can see it, but, uh, you know, freecreditreport.com is very, uh, it's, it's for America. It's not for Canadian yet. Yet. But Eric is uh, yeah. ver very famous here, and we're very excited to have him. If you guys don't know who he is, he's the actor from FreeCreditReport.com. Most of you will have known the commercials. They're songs that just stay in your head. Like you go to sleep at night, you can still he dream about the song. <laughs> you wake up in the morning, you still hear the song. So we're going to be talking to Eric a little bit about that tonight. And also, Eric is also a very well-respected actor, and he is a musician. He has a band called God Against God. So we're going to be talking about that as well. But we're going to go ahead and roll the first clip to get you guys familiar with his work. Let's go ahead and take a look at New Car. Well, I was shopping for a new car. Which one's me? A cool convertible or an SUV? Too bad I didn't know my credit was whack because now I'm driving off the lot in a used subcompact. F-R-E-E, -E, that spells free. Creditreport.com, baby. Saw their ads on my TV. Thought about going but was too lazy. Now instead of looking fly and rolling fat, my legs are sticking to the vinyl and my posse's getting laughed at. F-R-E-E, -E, that spells free. <laughs> Creditreport.com, baby. Offer applies with enrollment and triple advantage. I think my favorite part is your face at the end of that commercial. <laughs> <laughs> this one? Yes, that one. <laughs> I love that. That's like famous. That's my favorite part of the end of the commercial. So Eric, do you write the songs or do they give you the songs to do? Yeah, Dave Mew and Phil uh, wrote uh, the songs. Uh, they just gave me uh, the songs maybe two weeks before we shoot the commercials and I, I learned the songs. Yeah. Do you get to be the actual voice, or do they have to like do that later in a studio? How does that work? We were supposed to uh, to put our voice in the studio, but the fact is, uh, <laughs> my accent. You know, I have an accent. Yeah. And my accent two years ago was even stronger, so <laughs> the company didn't want to use my accent uh, in the commercial, so they took another voice. Uh, the first series, actually, it's, it's the voice of the composer, uh, Dave Neuenfeld, who works at the Martin Agency. So that, it's, But now I, I seem... Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So it must be hard. It's almost like shooting a music video for you. You have to mouth everything and act it out. Uh, especially the first series was kind of hard because, um, you know, I wasn't pronouncing the words correctly. So the director, Danny Leonard, was always uh, trying to, you know, you have to say it that way, that way, that way. And it was kind of hard at the beginning because, uh, it, you know, it's another language. But now, after, the, you know, the second series was okay and everything was fine. But it was, it was a lot of fun. Lots of fun, yeah. You come across so English and so American in the commercials. I would never know that you even had an accent. You play it off. You're, that's your good acting skills, because you had everybody <laughs> fooled. Um, how many people went on that audition? Was it hard for you to book that job? Oh, no, it was easy. It was <laughs> very easy. No, I honestly, <laughs> no, honestly, there were a lot of people. And the thing is, they, asked, they didn't ask only for actors. They asked for uh, singers. Uh, you know, they asked lots of bands here in Quebec. To, uh, for audition, so there were a lot of people. Uh, they called me because the, the casting director knew 
I, you know, knew that I was uh, able to play guitars and I was able to sing and I was able to act, so she called me. But I, I don't know how many people there was on the audition, but uh, I think it was a lot, lots of people. Cool. Yeah, I got lucky. Yeah. Well, well, you obviously nailed it. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the one where you're wearing the pirate hat. They say a man should always dress for the job he wants. So why am I dressed up like a pirate in this restaurant? It's all because some hacker stole my identity. Now I'm in here every evening serving chowder and iced tea. Should have gone to freecreditreport.com. I could have seen this coming at me like an atom bomb. They monitor your credit and send you email alerts. So you don't end up selling fish to tourists in t-shirts. Offer applies for enrollment trip. <laughs> I love that song. I love it. It just is so good. Yeah. <laughs> you want to know something interesting? Yes. When we shot that when we shot that commercial, I had only two hours of sleeping in my body because uh, I had to learn that song the day before because uh, there was there were a confusion when they gave me the script. And I had to learn that song like the evening before we, we shot the commercials. So I, I had only two hours of sleep. Wow. Yeah. Well, you looked really <laughs> excited to be there. Uh, Mike, we're going to oh. take a cu couple <laughs> questions. Couple questions. Well, first of all, I have a question for the chat room. Does anybody else feel like they're watching Paranormal Activity? Or is that just me? <laughs> I feel like we're using the same camera for that. Uh, we do have a couple of questions for Eric. Eric, um, Senor Shutter wants to know what your favorite costume was from all of the commercials you've done. <laughs> uh, my favorite costume? Oh, that's a good question. Honestly, it's the first time someone asked, asked that question. Uh, honestly, uh, you know the Renaissance Fair commercial? Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot. So I, I really enjoyed uh, wearing that costume. Uh, I, it's not a nice, it's, it's ridiculous, but it was very funny to wear. <laughs> That's awesome. Have you ever been to a Renaissance fair? No. Should I? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you lived at a Renaissance fair now. <laughs> no. We saw someone walk, I, walk by before in the background. Was that your family member or who was that? Really? Yeah, I some lady oh. walked. <laughs> Oh, really? Oh, is she, is she's my sister. She's my little sister. Oh, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, she needs a place. Yeah. Aww. She's she's with me uh, tonight. Yeah. Cool. My... Want to say hi? Yeah, let's say hi to her. Bring her in. <laughs> oh no, she's not very really comfortable <laughs> with her English yet. <laughs> oh, okay, that's okay. Well, we're gonna take we're gonna take a look at your favorite commercial, Eric. That you told me was your favorite spot. It's all about your dream, girl. Well, I married my dream yeah. girl, I married my dream girl, but she didn't tell me her credit was bad. So now instead of living in a pleasant suburb, we're living in the basement at her mom and dad's. Though we can't get a loan for a respectable home, just because my girl defaulted on some old credit card. If we'd gone to freecreditreport.com, I'd be a happy bachelor with a dog and a yard. Offer applies with enrollment and triple advantage. Oh, I feel so bad for uh. you. <laughs> See, you married the wrong girl, Eric. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm single now, by the way. Oh, okay, it's, good. I'm not really married to her. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, thank God. <laughs> you know, it's worth pointing out that the crappy studio apartment, not much bigger than his real apartment. <laughs> <laughs> A few Mike, more guitars, look, this, but this. This apartment was so small, you have no idea. It was the smallest apartment I ever saw. And we, the, you know, you only see me and the, the dude, but there was an entire team, you know, in this apartment with the cameras and the lights, and it was crazy. But it, lots of fun, lots of fun. How long does it take to shoot a free credit commercial? Uh, one day, a big day, yeah. Yeah. Mike, you want to um, 
give the chatters a chance to ask I do and I, I, first of all I want to tell every uh, uh, chat star that we appreciate you tuning in and, and experimenting with us tonight and uh, because you're watching this uh, your credit scores are all being bumped 10 points so congratulations <laughs> you win uh, and then uh, for Eric um, Moxie and Kenji Samurai both had a question do you ever because you're a musician do you ever get any input onto the songs and, and do you actually perform uh, live on set do you play the music uh, they don't really ask uh, my advice you know the music when we shoot a commercial the music is already done so they don't ask me like oh do you think it would be better this way or anything uh, the other question is do I really perform uh, you know with my guitar when we shoot the commercial the, the answer is yes um, because I want it to be you know because I don't want it to be fake, you know, and I can play guitar, so I, I always ask what is the chords and stuff like this before we shoot the commercial, so I practice with my guitar. Uh, but sometimes you, you don't really see it, you know, it's very subtle, especially the pirate one because it was finger picking, ding, 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 ding. so it's hard to see, but I do play the songs for, for real when we shoot. You look like you're really playing, it looks real. Yeah. You, oh, good. You, you should get an Oscar for these commercials, Eric. <laughs> um, okay. Really? Thanks. Yes. It's if very they gave them out for If they gave them out for commercials, you should get one, because you had us all fooled. We thought you were some American guy with bad credit and that drives a subcompact <laughs> and uh, wears a pirate hat. You had us fooled all this time. Um, tell us a little bit about your band. Uh, my band is, uh, is it's very young. Uh, it's God Against God. Uh, I composed uh, approximately 30 songs uh, during the last winter in my basement. <laughs> yes, I really do music in my basement. <laughs> and uh, my, just, <laughs> yeah, you know, but um, the stuff I do is very, very different. Uh, than the freecreditreport.com uh, commercial songs. It's very different. Um, I would say it's more, it's deeper. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but it's not like pop songs. Right. I, I, I don't do pop music. It's, uh, you know, I hope it's catchy. I, I'm doing the best I can, but it's not, it's very different. It's not three chord songs, cat, you know, it's very different. And, um, you know, I just composed that music, and uh, I I asked some some people what what they think about it. Some musician I wanted to work with, and um, they all said yes. And uh, we found the drummer two weeks ago. Uh, the only the only piece that was missing was the drummer, and we found a, a drummer two weeks ago. And now we are a full band. We are practicing uh, very hard, and honestly, it's it's awesome. I can't wait to spread my music. I can't wait. Yeah, you'll have to um, let us know where we can find it on my, I think you have a MySpace page, right, with some of your music yeah. on it? Okay, yeah, so yeah. go ahead and give that address now so they have it. Oh, it's very simple. It's uh, on MySpace. It's myspace.com slash God against God uh, band. Okay. You can Google it if you want. And on MySpace, it's only acoustic demo uh, because we don't we do we didn't want to burn the songs, so we only play acoustic uh, version. But as soon as we we find a label or you know, we will record like uh, electric uh, version, and it's uh, but it it gives an idea of the kind of music I do. So God against God, yeah. Okay. Cool. Mike, uh, one more question before I roll the next question. Sure. And I just want to point out, Vegs just posted the link to uh, uh, God Against God uh, into, the, uh, into Justin TV. So you can link uh, to it from there. And uh, uh, Cherry Pie wants to know, what was your first uh, commercial ever that you did? And uh, as a follow-up, when did you first uh, pick up a guitar and start to play? Okay. My first commercial was the pirate one <laughs> and it was also my first professional uh, commercial so uh, yeah it was a big deal <laughs> and as I said I only slept two hours before we shot so 
it was uh, awful. And the other, <laughs> so but you you had the never, other question was, you had never done a commercial before. I'm sorry, that? you had never done an no. ad before that ever. Wow. No, no, never. <laughs> and the other question, uh, when was the first time I played guitar? When was it the, the other question? Yeah, Mike. When you first picked up a guitar, when did you first learn to play? Oh. Oh, it was seven years ago. Uh, she was looking at me. I was looking at her, and yeah, that's it. That's how we met seven years ago. I don't remember exactly when it, how it, it did happen, but we had a lot of fun the first evening together. <laughs> Eric, but, don't uh, talk. Don't I tell think everybody. <laughs> uh, I think it was uh, <laughs> well the first time I, w I was playing piano when I, w I was studying at the National Theatre School and um, I didn't have a piano so and I, w I wanted to play music so my father gave me his guitar and this is when I started yeah I was 21 years old Cool. That's amazing, Eric. You're a very talented guy. Um, we're going to take a look at Bicycle. This is okay. uh, one of the famous FreeCreditReport.com commercials, guys. Take a look. Check it out. Gas prices blowing up sky high. Ditch my used subcompact for a two-wheeled ride. Now I'm rolling eco-friendly, but I still look bad. When the bike store saw my credit, they said this was all they had. I'm singing F to the R to the E to the E to the C to the R to the E D I T. Free to the port to the dot to the com. Come on, everybody. Grab your bike and sing along. It's easy. F to the R. Offer applies with enrollment and triple advantage. What I want to know is who's the old lady in all the commercials? She's my mom. No, <laughs> <laughs> no she, um, she was supposed to be an extra when we shot the pirate, the pirate one. And she, was, she made that face, that popular face that everybody knows now. Yeah. And the director said, oh, I want that face on the commercial. So <laughs> they shot her, you know, a reaction to, uh, what, you know. And, they call her back. They called her back because they wanted to see her again in the commercial. She's a, a very nice woman. Uh, she lives in Quebec. Uh, every time we shoot a commercial, she brings like cookies on the set and stuff like this. She, she's Aww. a very nice woman. I want to live in Quebec. <laughs> yes, you want. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> is it cold there right now? No. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Do you have snow yes, yet? Uh, not yet, not yet, but it's coming soon. I can smell it. When are you yeah. moving to Los Angeles? I don't know. Do you have a place for me? <laughs> yeah, do you need a green card? Uh, yeah, that will help. <laughs> look, look, seriously, I can leave you two alone if you want. I think the chat room is fine. I can, I can skedaddle if you, hmm. you can dim the lights. Hmm, I might be able to help you out, Eric. I might know a girl or two. Hmm. Hmm. Cute. Chloe Whoa. and I are gonna fight afterwards. <laughs> We're gonna fight to the death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which reminds me, uh, this is when I think I had my first crush on you was the Renaissance Fair commercial. Take a look, you guys. I was getting depressed because of all the stress I was feeling at home. Had a poor credit score and the number would haunt me wherever I go. Thought I'd move to a place where my credit could stink and nobody would care. I just wish that somebody had told me that place was a renaissance fair. FreeCreditReport.com Tell your friends, tell your dad, tell your mom. Never mind them and singing our songs since we first showed up with our pirate hats on. If you're not in the fake sword fights, pony slippers and green wool tights, take a tip from a knight who knows FreeCreditReport.com. Let's go! Offer applies with enrollment and triple advantage. So cute. Mike, you got to have questions for Eric from the chat room. Well, of course, that. my favorite part of that ad is the callback with the pirate hat, and there's a guy walking by with a loot. It's the best commercial ever. Uh, we do have a, a question from the chat room. Where do they shoot these commercials? Do they shoot it up by you, or do you have to travel to shoot them? Oh, uh, all the commercial has been shot in uh, in Montreal. Yeah, it's in Quebec. Uh, and we shot a lot of commercial in a place called La Ronde, 
It's uh, it's an amusement park. Uh, we shot the roller coaster there. We shot Renaissance Renaissance Fair. We shot uh, Reno. We shot lots of commercial because uh, I don't know. There's just a lot of lots of cool spots, you know, in in Montreal and at La Ronde. Yeah. Is the pirate hat in all the commercials now? Ah, uh, that's a good question. I think it's it's on Re in Reno. Uh, I'm not sure if it's on cell phone. It's not in cell phone commercial, and it's I, I'm not sure that I, honestly I I cannot answer that question. I honestly I don't see this commercial very often because they don't air the commercials in Quebec. So sometimes people ask me question very in you know details about the commercial and I, I don't see the commercial very often so I cannot answer the question. Eric, we see you on TV probably the average person if they're watching TV a few hours probably sees you about 10 times a day in America. Really? Whoa. Yeah. I hope they're taking good care of you and paying you well. They better be. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, let's pass to another question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you should come to LA because I think you'd work all the time. TV would love you. Um, Mike, one more question from the chat. We have one from Cherry because, uh, Eric, I don't know if you know, but down here there's a, just a handful of really big commercial stars like the Verizon guy who does Where Are You Now and the Mac and PC guy. And you're down here, you were right up there with them. And uh, Cherry Pie wants to know, when did you first know that maybe this was bigger than just doing a commercial? Like, it was starting to take on a life of its own. Well, <laughs> it all began when I, <laughs> I you know, I, I have a YouTube account when I, where I used to, um, to post my my work because uh, my my acting demo in Quebec because it's easier to uh, you know to put it in the internet via uh, YouTube and I began to receive uh, emails on YouTube about these commercials and I I forgot about those commercials because it was I didn't we didn't expect that popularity you know so I was surprised. And then I, I received more and more emails, and people uh, found my my website. Mm -hmm. So uh, people gave, sent me emails and emails, and I was like, oh my god, something's happening. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it all began you're for like, me. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm like Brad Pitt in America. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, we have time to roll one more of your commercials, uh, which is very cute and funny. It's like more, it's different from the other ones because you're kind of rapping in this one. Let's take a look at Rockstar. When you're a rock star, you get to party hard Champagne and caviar, tricked out exotic cars It's just how I thought it'd be Except the party's not for me Cause some punk opened a credit card with my ID Free what? Free credit Report.com That's the site I'm gonna hit when I go home They know how credit works They send email alerts Now I'm finding out how bad applies with enrollment in triple advantage. The director of these commercials has an incredible sense of humor. <laughs> yes, he does. He does. <laughs> He's very creative. Whoever yeah. comes up with this stuff is yeah. very creative. Oh yeah. Yeah, that and there's an entire theme around around uh, these commercials. Uh, David Newenfield is the the ID man behind these commercials and it's crazy the stuff he does and you know when he uh, freecreditreport.com ask for a commercial they've write many more commercials <laughs> so, and free credit report choose between all these commercials that they have wrote and there's lots of commercial you haven't seen because free credit report.com uh, choose another one and I heard these commercial and it's so funny this guy has nice brain <laughs> That's great, Eric. Um, Eric, before we leave you, give us um, your website and your band page one more time. Yeah, uh, the, my website is uh, www.ericviolet, ericviolet, if you want, <laughs> dot com. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Eric American. Violet is the French pronunciation. And uh, you can find me on Facebook, 
You can find me on MySpace. Uh, the name of the band of my band is God Against God. You can Google. Uh, you can Google it, and you, it's easy to find. Yeah, Google. Where else can we see you soon? Anywhere in any TV or film that we should be looking for? Uh, no, it's uh, Paramount and uh, CBS approached me uh, last summer for a sitcom, uh, but it didn't work because they, uh, you know, my accent was too strong, and they they went they wasn't willing to take the risk, you know. So it's not gonna work for the sitcom. But right now, I'm really focused into music. So let's see what happened with it, with my music. Okay, well, great. Well, Eric, we so thank you for interviewing with us via Skype. You were a wonderful interview. We're really glad we got a chance to spend some time with you. Come visit us in the studios here in L.A. anytime you're in town. Uh, to all our guests out there for commercial break, this is Rebecca Michael signing off with Eric Violet and uh, Mike Beatrice <laughs> live I'll be, from Los Angeles. I'll be the best man in the wedding. Look for it. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Good night, Eric. Thank you. Good Bye, night. guys. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Stop.